checking the UAV forecast before leaving home, as you can see, it's a perfect day to fly. So let's get on with it. Good morning, folks. I'm all set up out here. But unfortunately, there's some geese out here now. I'm hearing them squawking and making all this noise. Usually when they start that noise, they're about to fly out or some about to fly in. So I'm not gonna walk into the field and launch this. I'm gonna launch this from out here. And this is the first flight. You set this up, take off the gimbal guard. Now all I have to do is just press down and pull back nice and easy. And what I do like about this baby, this camera doesn't, and gimbal doesn't flop around like the older drones. So it's easier to put this thing on, just hold it straight. I will demonstrate that later, but here comes the nets. All right, I turn the controller on first, which is what you always want to do. In case your drone decide, oh, now they're flying off. Good, 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 good. You, you always want to turn your controller on first. And let it boot up before you take off. Because you don't, before you turn the drone on, because you don't want to turn the drone on and maybe something crazy happened and the drone take off, which has never happened to me. So I don't know anybody that has happened to. But just out of precaution, turn your controller on first and then go on with your takeoff. Here comes somebody with a dog, so I have to wait until it go by before I launch this baby. It's a nice uh, Yeah, thank you, thank you. Very nice one. Yeah. Good, take care. All right, and you. All right, folks, as I was saying, once the controller is fully booted up, you will see this screen, and then face your drone into the wind, which is what I always do. There's hardly any breeze now, so I can't really tell which way it's coming from. If you want to know, take some blades of, blade of grass and drop it. Shh, almost fell straight to the ground. All right, move it away from the fence. I'm going to boot up, slide the drone up. Press one, release, press the second time and hold it. And this drone boots up quickly, very quickly. I got an image already. All right, I'm in the photo mode. No, it's just changed over to video. So now what I'm, what I'm gonna do here now is uh, I'm gonna go to my three dots, my menus, and I will calibrate. I'm far away. What is this thing talking about? Updated. What is Ling talking about? I'm far away from altitude zone. Here we go. I did the IMU last night. Now I'm going to calibrate the compass. Even though it shows normal, I want to calibrate it, OK? Hit start. Take the drone. I'm going to turn counterclockwise. It will prompt you to change the position. So this is the position now, counterclockwise. And calibration successful. All right. I like to open up my props, even though on the Mini 3, you cannot open the props. You can, but they don't stay there. They all flop out all kinds of ways. I like to open up my props. And then, all right, they'll open up. I'm in the video mode, uh, takeoff permitted. I have 21 satellites. Home point have been updated. I have put the screen recorder on. Record, swipe down once, swipe down twice, and you'll get, go to your area where you can put in your screen recorder. There you go, it's on. Now I'm getting a breeze and it is blowing from that direction. I like to do a manual prop start. Take off. That's not too bad, it seems kind of quiet. All right, let me focus my camera down on this. Okay, it's in view. 
What I like about the Pocket 2, you can track even a drone. Okay, it's a shame that they don't allow the drone to track other objects. So my Pocket 2 is gonna track the drone up in, in the air. So I'm gonna take off now. Take it above the fence. Start the recorder here. Okay, I lost track of the drone. With the camera. There you go. Now we on it. Pick it up. Like to stop that crazy beeping. It's hovering nicely. I mean steady as a rock. Next move is the yaw. The drone around. Just to make sure all my inputs are responsive. I'll take it up a little bit. Stop that beeping. Yaw it in the opposite direction. Drop the camera a little bit. So. Okay, we have already gone up. Now I'm gonna come down. Oh, that's fast. So go easy on it. I haven't found tuned this baby yet. So now I'm gonna go forward. Come back. I'll put this in cine mode because this baby is the slide to the right. Slide to the left. Folks, even though I've been flying for a while and I'm familiar with all these moves, but it's always good. What I always do when I get a new piece of equipment I always test it out, go back to basic principle to make sure everything is correct. So now I'm going to take it out and up and out, stop, yaw around, and come back. Off to the left, to my right, Joan is going to his left. Remember the sticks are opposite when you're facing yourself. And now I'm gonna try return to home, see what happens. Return to home. Landing. I'll pause it because I think I've lost it on my camera. There you go. Okay, return to home. Landing. Looks like it's about a foot off of where it took off from. So the blade is gonna hit the grass, so move forward a little bit. There you go. All right, now let's get out there and do some filming. I'm going to do an auto takeoff. <clears throat> Press the arrow in the left center of the screen and then press the center of that and fill it. Shoot auto takeoff. Take off. Didn't update the home point. I guess it didn't. Because I'm assuming it's keeping the old home point. It's 
since I didn't cut it off. All right, I'm gonna head over to LaSalle University. Forward and up. There you go. Keep going up, make sure I clear those trees. Well, let me say this, folks. There are no obstacles here. I can see the drone. The drone is 42 meters away. No, that's 42 meters high and 158 meters away. As soon as I begin not to see my drone, that's my limit. I will stop. I do not fly to your own line of sight. All right, this is 1X. So let's zoom. That's 1X right there. That's pretty fast. Okay. Uh, go over here to photo mode. And from here, tap the screen to focus. Even though it's autofocus, auto I'll take a photo from here. All right, and go up some more. Drop the gimbal. As I go up, camera and gimbal operation will be explained in upcoming videos. I'm going to bang to the left. I like to drop my camera to make sure I'm not over the highway. Slide over here, raise it, drop the gimbal, and from this vantage point, take another shot. right there and then go up some more go up a little more drop the gimbal climb at 101 meters at this point I will take another shot all right let me try to zoom Zone not supported. Why not? Really? In photo is not supported, supported on the main three. In part two, we'll find out why the zone does not work in the photo mode as it does with the Mini 3 Pro. We'll also check out the some of the intelligent flight modes and the obstacle avoidance. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing the video.